so we have a student from the Congo, and I love him. He is adorable. Uh, his name is Jules, and he his, he just passed the Cassie, and he speaks five languages, five, five completely like Swahili, French, and then two other African languages, and he's just learning English. So the guy's impressive. He does really well in his math classes. He's a really smart guy, but he feel like I get the feeling that he's like locked inside because of the English barrier. And so he's JC bound because he had the sheltered classes. We needed to get his essay written for the 10,000 degree scholarship and other scholarships. And I sat there for four hours, sentence by sentence, pulling these ideas out of him. Because um, they were in there, they just needed to come out. Right. And, I, and I had to be very careful about not putting what I thought into his head because um, I wanted him to talk about what it was like to come from the Congo, like what it's like. And he was, no. He was like, I'm not comfortable talking about that. I don't want to talk about that. He wanted to talk about um, being getting MVP for cross country, which is great. But I was like, you know, that's great. But, you know, you have this story that year that, that you would be great for scholarship essays. And so I had to, to balance the pushing him to do more, but also respecting his uh, and then also pulling all of that out. In the end, he did have a 750 word essay, four hours, and he was really proud. And I could see he read it and he was like, yes. Yes, here's my story right here, and I wrote it. I'm, he typed the whole thing himself, and then I just edited the grammar and like punctuation and stuff like that. And that was that was fantastic. I was I was so proud of him. I was proud of myself. Yeah. It was it was great. It felt great. Yeah.